everybody and welcome back to ftb neotech have you guys day been good let me know down in the comments below so last episode we got our final tier of circuits the quantum circuits now because of that we can actually get into the final chapter here which is all about quantum machines quantum mania is apparently called here and we'll be able to get ourselves our quantum gear i tried to get myself the sword last episode but it didn't work and i have a feeling that's because i need a spare upgrade inside the packing machine and right now i'm just cooking up another stainless steel and i have been doing a lot of works uh, between episodes and i've been getting myself a lot more of these upgrades um good question now is actually where are they all uh because i have them scattered around on a few machines i think i have them up here in the distilleries uh yeah this guy does not get enough shale oil which is disappointing but yeah i should have about six of these somewhere i think there's one more in here there's four um where else do i have them they're they're around somewhere um but yeah using these now we should be able to upgrade our gear but there's a few things we need to fix before we can upgrade our gear that i've noticed using this in here to get yourself your quantum gear or whatever you are going to need a total of 200 million eu now we probably could provide all that but unfortunately our power issue is just not working or our power setup is not working at all so we're always having no power build up in the pipes and we actually ran through all of our steam so this is all we are making right now thanks to these four boilers and i've made a new boiler room over here just making us steam and this is still not even enough and i even tried making myself some boosted diesel to see if that would help in here and really the boosted diesel did nothing i'm only like 2000 left and uh, because i'm slowly making it and uh, because boosted diesel is actually kind of difficult you need to make yourself this diethyl ether and that is made with acrylic acid and ethanol. This ethanol is only possible through sugar solution in a distillery. And the only way to get that is a mixer and water. And then the acrylic acid is oxygen and propene, which we are getting by distilling steam cracked naphtha. So we did have that, but it was the diether or the uh, ethylene we didn't have. So that's been made upstairs in a separate uh, setup right here. Uh, I think, yeah, you're making us the sugar solution. And then I think there's a distillery somewhere making it yeah, you can see in here we're making a diether right now but yeah so that's a current uh, issue so hopefully i don't know if we're going to get the pack finished today it might be one more episode but i'm going to try for it there's only a couple things we need to get done one is get ourselves a fusion reactor built this way we can make ourselves a material helium plasma this is what we need to burn inside our plasma turbine and if we use that, this thing can produce up to 1 million EU a tick. And it says consumes helium plasma and produces 10,000 EU per millibucket. Or 100,000 uh, EU per millibucket, which is way more than what we're currently making. Uh, it's almost, it's half of what we're making. So if we made like one and have plenty of plasma to provide to us, we should be good. So if we come back here, I did make myself a superconductor storage unit, which can hold 768 billion, I think. And you can see it's not even anywhere full. So that's a problem. So we're going to try and fix that today. And the first thing we need to make now is the fusion reactor. And I've got all the stuff in my bag that we are going to need right here. So fusion reactor casing, highly advanced machine hulls and fusion chambers. Uh, hopefully this is everything we need if we look in here we can see we need 40 of those and 203 which is what i should have here put those upgrades away for a moment now the question is where am i going to build this i guess i could build it like right here um it should fit inside the chunk right if i built it right here it should be fine so let's put this down the controller and just see the layout of this thing yikes okay this is going to be a pain to build um all right i guess i'll just put this in my offhand and we'll start placing yeah this is going to be annoying to put down but once i just follow the grid i should be fine all right and that should be the whole shape of it i think uh it is active and i'm guessing we're going to need power so input we're going to need a energy input ha hang on let me go sleep because these phantoms are going to be annoying me I don't know what kind of energy we're going to need. I have HV energy inputs. I guess we could try that. Um, okay, it looks like we can put HV energy inputs on the sides here. So let's do one here. 
and maybe one on the opposite side just to have power going around we should be able to put two input hatches right yes and then on the front here then we can have our fluid input actually no let's do it on the back here because we're gonna have two fluid inputs and two fluid outputs actually i think uh yo if we even did this one here we'd have three fluid outputs okay so let's say two fluid inputs will go in the back here and then we'll have our two fluid outputs here on the front all right and this thing should be ready i'm just going to need a quantum entangle porter to be able to move power up here because i don't have power cables up here um let's do this over here then actually let me just loop the cables around and then i'll put it down so that goes right there and this is our mains power so we'll set that and energy auto output out the bottom and yes the cables are getting power these guys here are filling up with power good and this thing is i think ready to go so the one we're going to be making if we have a look in here the fusion reactor i think it's going to be deuterium and tritium to give us helium plasma and hydrogen because it gives us the most helium plasma and it's the one we have the most of i think so if we just grab out a cable here and grab an exporter on the back right here we're going to have deuterium and tritium all right and now we just need to hook this cable up i know our access to it over there so i might just need to run it temporarily up through here somehow all right and this thing should be working now right once it gets the materials okay it seems to be a bit slow there is no space for upgrades um but yeah now we're getting heli wait only 500 millibuckets i thought we we're supposed to get a whole bucket and now we're completely out of power okay well we're making the helium plasma now so that's good so we'll just grab an importer and we'll just stick it on here and here so this is our helium plasma we're going to have to set up a fl fluid cell for that and this is our tritium coming back so at least we're getting some tritium back which is at least something all right i know this is a mess but uh, it has to be done let me make the fluid cell all right and are we getting it yes we are so now that we have helium plasma let's go and see if we can build our actual plasma turbine down here somewhere and where should we build it because these guys are wall sharing so i can't remove one so i guess let's just remove one of the boilers here since we're not really going to need them anymore all right so that's all hidden and let's grab out our two things for our plasma turbine and i'm assuming it's something similar to this guy here the fact that we have 18 pipe casings uh let's see oh no it surrounds the outside so it's the same as this turbine here okay all right so we have an ev energy output where does that go i'm guessing the back middle the same as these guys yep and then we'll just run the cable across all right tell this guy here to pull out the power and now we just need to actually pump in the plasma we're making and this looks like it goes on the front like the other ones oh please let this fix my power issue so export helium plasma max upgrades a little bit of cable to connect to the network and please work we have four buckets of plasma in here how much power are we producing doesn't say but we are producing 1.1 million which i think is better than what we were before and i hope all that power now is going back up to that reactor now to be able to run this thing and generate more helium plasma yeah he's full of power and it looks like can i just lubricant overclock this i can okay that's good and it doesn't look like we have high enough um energy inputs to be able to sustain the high overclock but even still this is pretty good and how much is in here right now eight buckets seven buckets nine buckets okay so we are making more than we're consuming that is perfect and now if we come back up here just to make sure our power is actually building up inside the cables now you're full the next cable to be filled then is this one which is full and how is our buffer doing uh we still aren't building up enough in the buffer but the fact that everything is now definitely getting enough power oh no this is our buffer cable uh yeah this is the cable that's connecting the pump and everything in and this is our buffer cable and uh, what is consuming all the power um i don't think we should be losing that much power 
should I set up a second turbine? I mean, considering this guy here is nearly full, I think we should get a second plasma turbine. Hang on. Okay, at least with two turbines now, we're making over two million. And yeah, we should be good now. And yeah, we're still making more helium plasma than we're consuming. Wow, we already have 200 buckets of it. Damn. Yeah, this thing is running fine. We are still struggling on power, which is still a bit odd. Um, I did upgrade these guys here to the EV input hatch to see if we can get the higher um, speed on this. But yeah, it seems fine. Right, now that we have that done, let's move on to the next thing, which is removing all of these chickens. I want to grab myself here a chicken catcher. And if we just shift right click all these chickens, we just pick them all up. And I just want a few of them. Yeah, we'll get rid of the rest. Because we're going to need space here to put down an SPS. The super critical phase shifter from mechanism because we are going to need two antimatter to be able to finish this pack and we're also going to need these chickens here because i'm almost done all of the final challenge quests in here the only thing i need to do is provide power to all of these quests here but one of the main things i'm lacking in is of course the chicken this wants me to make a 10 10 10 clay chicken so we're going to, have to figure that out. And in here, it wants me to submit a thousand buckets of helium plasma. Um, which we only have 300 buckets. So we need to generate over a thousand buckets of this stuff soon to be able to submit it and finish the pack. So while we're doing that, let's actually see if we can grab ourselves here our different chickens. So I think what it wants us to do, if we just grab out some blue dye, put down a chicken, right click the chicken or do something to the chicken. Because uh, we need to make ourselves a lapis chicken here. And it just says chicken interaction. One chicken here. Right click with blue, blue dye makes it a lapis chicken. But that's not working unless I have to do hold it with one. Well, punching doesn't seem to work. <laughs> uh, do I combine them in here? How do I make this a different chicken? I, I, I don't know. Okay, I figured it out. Thank Reddit to the rescue. Apparently, you need to do it while they're a baby. And there's our lapis chicken. All right, where are you running off to? Get back here. All right, now that we have our two lapis chickens, we need to breed them together with a, I think, a log chicken to get a snowball chicken. And the snowball chicken is bred with a sand chicken to give us our clay chicken. And we just need two of these guys to start. Now, to do that, we are going to need a breeder, which is a feeding trough, reinforced crates of vacuum tubes and motors. Okay, that's easy enough. I did make vacuum tubes beforehand because I did need those for the quest in here, the final challenge. I need to make two stacks of them. They're pretty cheap to make. It's not that difficult. So it's glass, nickel plate, redstone, and copper wire in an engineer's workbench with the blueprint crafting components. Now I just need a uh, assembling machine. Throw all these in here. That will give us our breeder. And the other thing we're going to need then is an incubator. So some structural glass from mechanism. Might as well make a couple stacks of that. We are going to need that for the SPS. We need a second feeding trough. I am completely out of wheat. Never mind. Transmutation tablet to the rescue. And here is our incubator. Now, I don't think these guys need power. So we should be able to just do it here and here. Uh, okay, the incubator does need power and water. Do I have water coming out of any of the pipes here? What's this? That's distilled water. Okay, let's do it upstairs. Actually, what we can do here is our plasma. Actually, we can start submitting our first bits of power into this guy here, actually. So we just need to submit um, 2 million FE and let that charge up. Our breeder is fine here, but the incubator needs to go here. So hook this guy up to power as well and an exporter for water. All right, and this should be able to regulate its own temperature. Uh, actually, yeah, so we have to increase the temperature needed and you can see the humidity, I think, stabilizes itself. All right, so let's grab out our chickens. So it was lapis and log, and I think they just need seeds to work. Give it some time. Wow, this thing is input is very slow. This cable is full, but it's just taking forever to fill up this guy. All right, and here is a log chicken. Oh, I guess it's a percentage chance of getting one. Yeah, it is the log chicken we want. So I guess there's a percentage chance in between each one. All right, the thing is full of power. I just realized this is master of L or MV. 
Uh, we needed to do the other one, Master of LV. You're still giving me logs. Give me the snowball one. All right, and there we go. This quest line here is done. Uh, oh, do I need to... I guess I need to have all of them done before I can do the other ones. But yeah, everything here is now unlocked. Uh, let's do Master of HV now, which I think is the 10 mil. Yep. Still give me logs. I'll wait to the end to claim everything in here, but some of them will give us infinite tanks. Like this one here will give us creative lava. This one here will give us a bunch of fuel we don't need. This one here will give us some rubber armor that has a pretty decent enchant on it. But in, in here, we get more plastic, which we don't need. But the one I'm looking for then, I think, is one of them gives us infinite shale, which we can use in our distilleries right there. Finally, at last, we got our snowball chicken egg. All right, so we put this in here. And what conditions does this need? Well, first of all, it's too cold. So let's increase it. I think I remember doing this before. And I think I needed that four to bring it up to the right temperature. And then once it reaches the right temperature, we should see a progress bar that tells us how long it's going to take the hatch. I think that only shows when you have tool tips turned on. Yeah, progress uh, 10. And does that actually still show without that? No, it doesn't. So yeah, we'll just leave him in there until he becomes uh, a chicken. And then using him, we should be able to combine them then with a sand chicken and that will give us our clay chicken and then we just keep breeding them together until we get 10 10 10 while that's doing that and this thing's filling up with power I added more cables onto it which does seem to be increasing the speed of it let's get ourselves everything we need now to get ourselves our sps and one thing we're missing if we have a look at the recipe is uh, press the right button is htpe this now comes from an enrichment chamber but it luckily is uh emcable so I have the two machines in here, pressurized reaction chambers and a crusher. Let's just set these guys up here. And what we want to do is get out some organic material. I guess sugarcane will work. Throw that in the crusher here. Give everything here upgrades. This will make us biofuel. We want to auto eject that out the right. Make sure energy is still set to be input. This biofuel then needs to be combined in here with hydrogen and water. Now, I don't know, does this need to be the hydrogen from mechanism? If it does, that's going to be annoying. Um, but it also looks like the ethylene from uh, modern industrialization works. So let's see if hydrogen from this mod works. So what was that? Hydrogen and water? Okay, water went in. Hydrogen doesn't look like it's going in unless the side configurations are wrong. No. It really does want the hydrogen from mechanism. That's annoying. Oh, Master of HV is done. And yeah, it didn't complete because we're missing the clay chicken. And oh yeah, Wither Skulls. I currently only have 93 of them. I might have to go hunt the rest of them now in a moment. But anyway, we need Electrolyzer. All right, there's Electrolytic Core. We need a Bronze Tank. And a regular all pump. All right, we can set this guy up here then as well and export everything into the system. All right, turns out to be able to store the oxygen and hydrogen from mechanism, we are actually going to need a chemical storage cell instead of a fluid storage cell. Luckily, we do have them, so they should be going in here once I hook up the imports. All right, now we should be able to export out the right hydrogen. Yep, now we're getting our substrate. And now inside this guy here, we want to auto eject our substrate out the right, uh, which is going in here. And this ethylene is going into the wrong slot. And let me clear some settings in here. To clear this, we need a gauge dropper from Mechanism. That will clear that. And in here now, we're going to need Hydrogen. So let me clear the inputs on this thing now. So item input there. Gas input the top. And what was the other fluid we needed? It was, just, was it just water? Oh, Mechanism Oxygen. Oh, wait, this ethylene. Oh, yeah, never mind. The ethylene from um, or in modern uh, industrialization is already a fluid. So input and input. So oxygen and ethylene. Hopefully we have enough. We do, but you have no power. Oh, yeah. There we go. And there's our HDPE. Now we do not need that set up anymore. Cool. Now we just need an enrichment chamber. And now we're making our HDPE. Right, we'll just leave that build up for a while. Uh, yep, our snowball chicken has grown. Now we just need our sand chicken. In you two go. More seeds. 
And now we just need to hope for a clay chicken. Let's read the first one with a clay chicken. All right, if we can get a second one, then we can breed the clay chickens together. All right, double clay chicken. Throw them in here to incubate. And when they're done, we should be able to make our 10, 10, 10 very quickly. I'm sitting here waiting for the other chicken to hatch. And for some reason, the progress bar is not going up. Um, I guess we have a, de uh, a dud. I guess we'll have to breed another one and hopefully we get another clay chicken. Nope, snowball. Does throwing them on the ground do anything? No, you can't even throw it. Okay, the new egg is going up. So that's good. To actually get the super critical phase shifter to make antimatter, we are going to need polonium. And the only way to make polonium in this version of the pack is we could do the nuclear waste, but doesn't seem to have a recipe for it. But the other way we can do it is polonium pellets are made in an explosion compressor with polonium tiny dust and dark matter. So we can do that. And I bait a small bit of this up already. Well, my game's starting to lag. And I calculated we needed 2,000 polonium pellets to be able to make our two antimatter for our replicator. So let's just stick these two in here and just let it run. And now we have over 2,000 so we can stop. All right, and there's our second clay chicken. Two of those go in, get two more eggs, incubate them, swap them out, and then we should have 10, 10, 10 in no time. Okay, I didn't mean to click claim in all the quests, um, but yeah, we have a creative lava tank now. I just hooked up with a storage bus so we can actually see lava in the system now, which is pretty cool. Um, but now let's build ourselves our SPS, uh, supercritical phase shifter over here. And let's see if we can build this correctly. Uh, I hope I don't need glass for the bottom. I don't think so. But if I remember the shape correctly, it's three, three like this. And then it's up one in the center here. And then it's up three, one, and then like this. This does not look right, does it? All right. It's actually like this. So you have one block in the corner. So this actually goes up this way and on the inside, remove this. And I think, yeah, the whole bottom here, I'm just going to fill in. All right. The only thing we're missing now is the supercharged coil, which is going to require a laser, which is a lens and a energy tablet. So that plus the super critical or the supercharged coil. There we go. And we should be able to just put this in here right there and come up here, grab another quantum entangle porter. Oh, we're out of refined obsidian. Um, you know what? Since we actually fixed our power, we don't need the reserve one back here. So I'll just rob this one. So you go on top and power auto output the bottom. Just get rid of the power that's in there and then we can switch it to mains power. And this guy now is filling up a power, hopefully. We won't see unless we looked at that block, but that's fine. We have a chemical oxidizer. We need, uh, actually, we can just raise this up a block and have it auto eject. Where'd it go? Oh, in here. So you go in there. Let's actually grab a bit of cable because we need to give this thing here power as well. Output the power. And all we have to do now is just grab a chest and a hopper. So hopper. And we want power in the top. Gases auto output the left and items input where the hopper is. And then we'll put the chest right here. And now all we need is our polonium. And just stick that all in the chest right here. That's going to chemical oxidize. Let's grab it some upgrades. All right. And that's going to make polonium, which then gets auto put it into here. And depending on how much power we have, this is going to take a while. But now we are producing antimatter. Then that antimatter will have to come out and go into a chemical oxidizer, which I think, yep, this thing gives us. So that go right here. Do I have to change this to an output? Yeah, and will this auto eject out? Yes, it does. And then we just need to give it some power. So some cable. And now once this thing gets a thousand millibuckets of antimatter, it will make us a, our own antimatter pellet. And then using that pellet in an empowerer with a singularity in qubits, we can make the ultimate singularity, which would then allow us to make us our replicator. And then that's the end of the pack, I think. So we're just gonna have to leave this run for a long time because this thing seems to be taking forever. Energy input is only 500,000, which is not a lot, but I guess that's how much the quantum entangler porter can output. All right, and here is our 10, 10, 10 chicken. Yes. All right, and we can claim all of these rewards now. Oh yeah, that's a lot of stuff. Uh, a ton of smaller heat exchangers we don't need. Don't need any of that. Now we did get ourselves to watch a flowing time, and this is supposed to tick accelerate uh, blocks. And if you put it on a pedestal, it does it in an area. 
I was trying to see if I can get this thing to work in a creative world and it did not work. Um, so I don't know why not. So for now, I don't think this thing actually works in this pack. But we also have ourselves three new creative tanks of shale oil, nitrogen and argon. And now they're connected up with some storage buses and yep, we can see them inside the system here. So we have shale oil, nitrogen, which we already have more than what this tank has. Um, but yeah, we basically have infinite now and infinite argon. The only thing argon was really used for was for making ourselves the monocrystalline mono silicon bulls and making ourselves cryo fluid. But we have enough of each. All right. Now we just need to wait for this guy here to fill up with power. We already have a red matter. And once this guy here is done filling up, we'll be able to submit our uh, helium plasma. And then we're just waiting on our two antimatter from this guy over there, which is taking forever. But yeah, all we have to do now is just wait a few hours for this thing to make enough. It's only made 40, nearly 40 so far. Yeah, this is going to take a long time. All right, and a good few hours later, we have our two antimatter pellets now. Finally, using those now, uh, the only thing we're missing currently is another singularity. Uh, okay, we're just waiting on the assembler up here to be done. So let's just speed this up and we should be able to make ourselves our one more uh, singularity. Because the one I did have over here making new you matter, I did actually turn into another upgrade. Uh, I've been trying to keep these guys here maxed out um which is working but we're not pumping in enough uh hydrogen which is odd but whatever i forgot which assembler was being made in so it's this one right here we need to speed up for the rest of our nukes so with the nuke then we need to combine it with an ultra dense metal ball inside an implosion compressor all right and there is our singularity so singularity in the center of this setup right here with two antimatter and two qubits now we'll give it some time and this should give us our ultimate singularity. And then we should have everything we need now to make ourselves our replicator. And actually, I'm going to set the replicator up right here. Uh, I might see how it works first before I hook up the UU Matter export. Damn, this has taken a while. And this replicator needs to be made in an assembler with 500 millibuckets of UU Matter. All right, and here is our ultimate singularity. Don't think that's a quest reward. And we'll just come down here, grab a ultimate upgrade, throw it in here. Seems we have enough. So that was the upgrade that that and that. Oh, yeah, the quantum machine hull. Oh, wait, no, that's in here. It just went into the wrong slot. And there we go. We're making our replicator. Let's just speed this guy up to finish it quicker. And there we go. Replicator legal duping. <laughs> and that's pretty much it. We finished the pack. Um, pump it, you, you matter. And I'm guessing you just put one item in here and it'll just duplicate it. Let's see. I wonder, will that work for the actual like upgrades itself? Like, can anything be duplicated? Literally anything can be duplicated. Oh my God. That's insane. And yeah, it's pretty fast. Yeah, there we go. We just got five more ultimate upgrades for free. So I'm hoping with that now, let's make one more quantum machine hull and we're going to grab ourselves out a full set of netherite gear. I guess I need to make a new chest place. No, wait, no, I have this chest plate here. We're just missing a helmet. Cover me in debris. All right. And then hopefully now we'll be able to make ourselves our quantum uh, gear because before it wouldn't work. But if we have the electric packing machine, let me just remove all everything that's in there. Put the ultimate upgrade in there. And what we make waiting on as uh, in cooling things. And here's our quantum machine hull. And hopefully now this should work. It has 12 billion EU. Upgrade and netherite sword. Yes. Quantum sword. And now we can do the rest of that with our armor. Does this armor give us a uh, cradle flight? I wonder. Does this need to? Oh, wait. Does it not work with already enchanted stuff? Oh, no, it does. I guess it just takes a second to get going. So our sword. Helmet legs chest plate and now we're just waiting for the boots there we go immortality quantum immortality and now oh my god this looks amazing and we do get creative flight yeah allow creative flight so now we we can put everything away now and we should be invincible to all damage and we should be able to one shot anything 
Let's go to the deep dark and summon a warden and see what happens. All right, third scream. Let's see if one spawns. Sometimes it might take four. Yeah, it's going to need four screams. All right, now the warden should spawn after this one. And we do have the texture pack, so the warden's going to look insane. Look at that. Let's give him a punch so he's already angry. And yeah, we can't die. But yeah, we should be able to one shot him. There we go. Pretty cool. Oh, I can't get over how cool this armor looks. All right, and a while ago, I think I said when I made my nukes, I wanted to try setting one off. So let's see if we can blow up this house right here. No idea if it'll work, but we'll try. Because I tried lighting industrial TNT and that didn't work. So I guess we'll try this house. Armor should protect us. So we'll try two different things. And if it doesn't work, well, then we're, we can't blow it up. So we'll try a flint and steel first. Nope. Lever. Nope. Redstone torch. No. Okay, we can't blow up the nuke. Nope. Unfortunately, we can't. Damn it. I'll leave it here. Oh, yeah, there was one other thing I wanted to do. I also wanted to claim the quest rewards in here for getting ourselves this guy now. Uh, so we have a creative energy cell that we can put on our ME system now. So that thing will never run out of power. We can replace this dense one here with the cell. There we go. And this should keep this thing filled with power forever. Nice. And then the last thing was the extra fluid tank we just got, which is helium. There. And now if we look in the system, we have helium. Oh yeah, and we also got a stack of singularities. Nice. So yeah, I'm going to end it there. Hope you all enjoyed the series. And if you did, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe if you're new, and hit the notification bell while you're at it then as well. So, without any further ado, goodbye. Goodbye.